for today's video, we're going to study multiplying numbers with regrouping. Let's have our first example. 432 times 8. So we're going to multiply 8 on each digit at the first factor. 8 times 2 equals... Very good! It's 16. So we're going to carry 1 at the tens place. Then, let's multiply 8 times 3 equals... Good job, children! It's 24. Plus 1 equals 25. Then, let's carry 2 at the hundreds place. 8 times 4 equals... Good job, children! It's 32. Plus 2 equals... Very good! It's 34. So the product of 432 and 8 is 3,456. How about if we have this? 352 times 63. So let's multiply digit 3 on each digit at the first factor. 3 times 2 equals... That's correct! It's 6. Then... 3 times 5 equals... Very good, children! It's 15. So we're going to write 5 here and carry 1. Then, 3 times 3 equals... Good job! It's 9. Plus 1 equals... 10. So let's proceed to the second digit at the second factor. Don't forget to write your imaginary zero. So let's have 6 times 2 equals, that's correct, it's 12. So we're going to write 2 at the bottom, then carry 1 at the tens place. Let's have 6 times 5 equals, 30 plus 1, that's correct, it's 31. So we're going to write 1 at the bottom, then carry 3. Let's have 3 times 6 equals... Good job, children! It's 18 plus 3. Very good! It's 21. So we can now add the partial product. 6 plus 0 equals... Good job! It's 6. How about 5 plus 2? That's correct! It's 7. How about 0 plus 1? Very good! It's 1. 1 plus 1 equals 2. Then, bring down 2. So the product of 352 and 63 is 22,176. How about if I have 481 and 24? Let's have our next example. 481 times 24. Again, we're going to multiply digit 4 on each digit at the first factor. 4 times 1 equals 4. 4 times 8 equals... That's correct, children. It's 32. So we're going to write 2 at the bottom, carry 3. 4 times 4 equals... 16 plus 3 equals... Good job! It's 19. So don't forget to write your imaginary zero. Let's proceed. 2 times 1 equals... Very good! That is 2. Then 2 times 8 equals... Good job! It's 16. So let's write 6 at the bottom, then carry 1. 2 times 4 equals... Very good, children! It's 8 plus 1, 9. So let's add them. 4 plus 0 equals... Very good! That is 4. How about 2 plus 2? Equals 4. 9 plus 6 equals... Good job! It's 15. Write 5 here, then carry 1. How about 1 plus 1 plus 9 equals? Fantastic! It's 11. So the product of 481 and 24 is 11,544. 
How about if we have this? 6,039 times 415. So let's multiply digit 5 on each digit as the first factor. 5 times 9 equals 45. So we're going to write 5 at the bottom, then carry 4. 5 times 3 equals 15 plus 4. 19. So write 9 at the bottom, then carry 1. 5 times 0 equals 0 plus 1. Good job, it's 1. How about 5 times 6 equals? Very good children, it's 30. So let's proceed to the second digit and the second factor. Oh, don't forget to write your imaginary 0. So let's have 1 times 9 equals? Very good, that is 9. How about 1 times 3? Good job children, it's 3. How about 1 times 0? It's 0. 1 times 6 equals 6. So we can now proceed to the last digit at the second factor, which is digit 4. But before that, let's write two imaginary zeros. So let's have 4 times 9 equals... Good job, children! It's 36. So we're going to write 6 at the bottom, then carry 3. Let's have 4 times 3 equals... 12 plus 3 equals... 15. So let's write 5 at the bottom, then carry 1. 4 times 0 equals 0 plus 1 equals 1. How about 4 times 6 equals? Good job children, it's 24. So we can now add the partial product. So 5 plus 0 plus 0 equals 5. How about 9 plus 9 plus 0 equals? Good job! It's 18. So we're going to write 8 at the bottom, then carry 1. How about 1 plus 1 plus 3 plus 6 equals? Very good children! It's 11. Write 1 at the bottom, then carry 1. How about 1 plus 0 plus 0 plus 5 equals? Good job! It's 6. How about this? 3 plus 6 plus 1 equals? Fantastic! It's 10. Write 0 at the bottom, then carry 1. 1 plus 4 equals? 5. And lastly, bring down 2. So the product of 6,039 and 415 is 2,506,185. So always remember children, to multiply a number by column, put the factor with fewer digits below the greater factor. And lastly, multiply each digit in the lower factor by each digit in the upper factors starting from the right. Use regrouping if necessary.